What has Ledger done? Their backlash to the seed recovery little service that they're providing was so off base. I was shocked and surprised that they even considered it from like a product research and market research. I'm just like, who was in charge of that? But emotions aside, I just want to talk about is your crypto safe? Is your ledger safe? Should you be panicking? Whether you have $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000, $100,000, I know some people with a couple million dollars on their ledger. Is your crypto safe? And I just want to look at the data and I'll leave my emotions aside. Now, again, I think we saw a lot of emotional reactions. It's just straight. The Twitter feed is ruthless. It's Twitter. And I love it. Ledger gets instant feedback. And I'm really curious what they're going to do. But just to, just to fill you in on what's happening here, Ledger released a firmware update. It says something along the lines of, starting today, you can subscribe to Ledger Recover. Oh, okay. When I saw this, I was like, uh, what? Ledger Recover is an ID-based key recovery service that provides a backup for your secret recovery phrase. That raised a lot of concerns for me because they never said anything else. They didn't say, okay, how is that stored? How is it saved? Is my ledger now compromised? If I update my firmware, do you have access to this? Is this opt-in? Is this optional? Like, what is going on? And I was like, I'm not touching anything until I get more data. And so I did go down and I, you'll, you'll quickly learn that the service basically, and let me just pop this up here. Oh, and on the back end of that, of course, Ledger did have a security breach in 2020. Uh, names, emails, phone numbers were hacked. And then those scammers were phishing people, pretending to be Ledger. And a lot of people were losing money and obviously it damaged the company's reputation. This update, super controversial. And again, I was like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? And so basically how it works here is Ledger Recover is a subscription service that allows users to utilize an optional layer of protection of the private keys. This service employs a technique where the user's seed phrase is divided into three fragmented or encrypted fragments and it's sent to external entities. Okay, what are those? Are those servers? Like, how is that being stored? And the deeper I dove into it, the deeper I learned that those are stored in almost like a ledger in and of themselves. You do need an ID, like a passport. And if you ever lose your seed phrase, you can go through the recovery service and the look at the passport. And that to me was a massive concern. I was like, so someone can just pretend to be you, get your seed phrase and then F you. Upon further investigation, it's not just the passport. You have to do some face recognition. It's not automated. There's a human being there. You have to go through, like there's a process to get the seed phrase that would eliminate anyone trying or pretending to be you. But here's where I have the problem. And here's where I have my problem. And it's my only problem. And again, am I panicking to get my money off this? No. Did I opt into this service that I think is super off base? No. Is my crypto safe? Yes. But I bought this to not even have to worry 0.00001% about my seed phrase being somewhere. And just that they sent that ripple of worry for people, just like, it's just, I get it from a business perspective. Oh, we can create a $10 a month kind of service. And, and, and I get it from like a service standpoint of it would be helpful for someone who doesn't know what the heck they're doing. Maybe they could have made like a different device and only that device had the option to update into it. Maybe that would have helped. I don't know. But then upon this Twitter feed, which is hilarious, <laughs> pay $10 a month with KYC. It's just so off base because I don't like updating my ID. So you're going to pay $10 a month and then you have to KYC and then you're going to have to expose your seed phrase to a company that had a breach in the past. Like this is why, this is why they're getting so much backlash and they're coming back and saying, look at self custody is the core of our offering. It's generated by your device. We have no access to it. This will never change. We are uncompromising about security. I get that, but you basically cheated and now you're doing some shady stuff and like do we trust you that's the fundamental problem here recovery is an optional service for users who want to back up their secret recovery phrase you don't have to use it you can continue managing your recovery phrase if that's why you bought a ledger that's why we bought a freaking ledger this is not automatically enabled by any firmware updates this is your choice i get it but first and foremost, how is your secret recovery phrase generated? Use, Ledger uses a BIP39 standard for generating anyways. We can keep going down this rabbit hole. Ledger is doing some damage control. 
But I think the damage is done, and they're going to have to come up with something very good. Again, it's off base to probably 99% of their – whoever came up with this has to be fired. Whoever did this product research, market research, marketing, whatever – has to be fired. It makes zero sense. But am I worried? Am I concerned? No. I do love Ledger. I do. I am looking forward to their new device. I am. I'm not in a hurry to zip away from Ledger, but they're going to have to bring some clarity to this situation and ensure that there is a lot of confidence brought that if you don't opt into the service, which I never, ever, ever, ever would in a billion years, that there's a lot of clarity and a lot of conviction brought that you bought a ledger for that reason and there's no back door it's not it's exposed etc cetera, etc cetera. but i think the damage has been done i'd love to hear your thoughts on this ledger update i uh, do share it in the comments below if you did like this video like it subscribe to this channel all the stuff that the cool youtubers say go do all that stuff and if you are on twitter anyway going through the twitter feed make sure you pop by crypto labs research it is the it is the green yeah blue check mark not that that's earned you pay for that now but i did want to people were getting followed by crypto labs research that wasn't us so just make sure it's crypto labs inc or crypto labs research blue check mark and we have a pin post it looks like this just make sure you're actually following or communicating with the right person because scammers are out there all right with that said i'm gonna get out of here appreciate you i'll leave some videos up here do check them out we've got some really good ones and with that said i'll get out of here peace